Hey guys, Retro Badger here. In this video, we're going to look at the USS Carinium, or the Stargazer 2.0. According to the backstory, it's the first redesign of the Sovereign class. Apart from its 4 nacelle design, of note is the pulse phasers. They fire on a rotating modulation, meaning they're much more devastating against ship shields than standard pulse phasers. As a first test, I thought we'd put this up against five original Stargazers. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think of the design? It's interesting. They've definitely gone for a Stargazer style look. So we have photon torpedoes and of course quantum torpedoes. Four warp nacelles, which is interesting. Their top shield has failed. Now I read somewhere that the advantage to having four warp nacelles was that they don't use them. Whoa! Particularly at the same time. But they use them in unison. So they will use two of them and keep the other two off. And then to stop the ship from having to cool down, they then just turn the other ones on instead where a standard ship can only maintain maximum warp for a certain amount of time. But the Stargazer had the advantage of being able to keep going almost indefinitely. Interesting theory. Okay, so our phases are pretty standard, to be honest. The photons are pretty standard. However, that pulse cannon, gosh. Oh, escape pods. Gosh! Okay, that's absolutely devastating, but I would say for the time period, the difference, that probably should be happening. I'm going to have to try this against the more powerful ship, definitely. Just notice there's a phaser array right there. That's pretty cool. Oh no, they're targeting the escape pods! Wow. Hmm, okay, let's go against something that's much more powerful. Ah, oh, collision! Oh dear. Captain, we're on a collision course. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Well, judging by how powerful the pulse cannon is supposed to be, I thought we'd go against two Eclipse classes. Now, I think the biggest challenge is going to be surviving their onslaught, basically. How much damage can we inflict here? Oh, crikey! Okay, that's uh, a wee bit powerful. Gosh. That's absolutely insane. So we've lost our shields, though. I mean, look, we got quite a bit of damage there, but flipping heck. Okay, well, just for a laugh, I'm going to go against the Voyager J. Now, if we can defeat the Voyager J, then I know there's something wrong here. Let's see. Whoa! Okay, let's try that again. We just got one shotted there. But I want to see what this pulse phaser does to the J, if we can hit the thing. Ah, here we go. Ah, right, no effect. Oh, okay. We have a hole breach. Force fields okay. I buy that. So what do you guys think of it? Do you think it's overpowered? Underpowered? Eh, I'd probably lean more towards overpowered, but we weren't able to damage the Voyager J there. And I suppose, theoretically, if you had pulse phases that were constantly rotating modulation, it would do absolutely devastating damage. I do like the design of it though, it's pretty cool looking. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.